In this video, we're going to show a very uh, simple way or, or a way to make a very simple uh, airfoil for uh, potentially for kid wind, uh, wind turbine uh, 3D design in on shape. So first I'm going to create a document and I've made a lot of these or several so we'll call it foil B. We're going to take uh, it from the front. And um, first, you're going to sketch. You're going to say where to sketch, remember. I'm selecting the front plane. I'm just going to make a line. Uh, the distance that we choose here, and I'll escape and then eh, I'll put a dimension on this. Let's say two. Uh, this is what is known as the cord of the uh, airfoil, which is sort of the front to the back. So think of a wing going out from a plane. That's sideways, but the front to the back distance, that's the cord. Uh, so, okay, fine. Two inches. Um, this is our little wing that we're making. Um, but now uh, we're going to accept that. Uh, you're going to use this script called NACA, and that's over here next to Search Tools. If you haven't already added NACA, you're going to need to watch uh, the previous video on, uh, that tells you how to go about uh, you getting this um, script onto Onshape, because it won't start out there. But anyway, I'm going to select it, and then this thing pops up. Uh, so uh, these digits... The first digit, the second digit, the third digit, uh, they uh, determine some things uh, with respect to the curvature of uh, the wing. So um, the standard apparently is two for the first digit, four for the third digit, or second digit, and 12 uh, for the third. Um, then we need to select a plane. We'll select this line. Uh, or I'm sorry, the front plane. Select the leading edge. It's going to be one of the two dots. So apparently the convention is to start. Uh, this is our front edge, leading edge. And then select the trailing edge here. And there we go. There's uh, basically the shape of the foil. You can play around with these digits. What if I made that a 1? Let's see, it changes a little bit. What if I made it a 4? Uh, more curve. I think a 6. A lot of curve. 15. Eventually it's saying, nope, can't do that. Can't do that. Okay, so there we go. Um, a really curvy one. You can try this one, uh, make that uh, 3. And, you know, more of a sharp curve at the end. Whatever. Uh, so now, fine, we've got the shape of our wing. Uh, I'm going to accept that. And uh, we're going to go to our sketch. Select it. And we're going to extrude it. And uh, I don't know, for our 3D printer, it's, we can maybe make something about 5 inches long. So I'll select the depth to be about 5. See if it does it. Oh, it's not allowing me to do that. Oh, I think I needed to select what I was extruding. So here, where it was face and sketch readings to extrude, I had to go and s select this. Let's just check it out. Did it do it? Yeah, there's our wing. So you can sort of, all right, so there you go. Simple way to uh, make a wing. Um, and then you could uh, 3D print this uh, um, uh, on your, you know what, before, let's do one last thing. Let's look at the front plane. We're gonna have to put this onto the kid wind kind of, um, uh, you know, the, the materials that they have, which usually use these, um, uh, wooden sticks. So let's do this real quick. Sketch. Sketch on the front. Let's make a center point circle. And let's make it like right here in the middle of this thing uh, for now. And uh, how big should we make it? Uh, for now, no, 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 I'm not trying to be perfect. I'll leave it like that. Then I'm going to extrude that. And uh, we're going to remove to take away some material. And let's make the depth um, two inches. 
see if it did it. Didn't do it. Uh, all right. We'll get to that on our next one.